Hi, my name is Stephen McGee and I'm the author of Toxic Health. Now we're here today to look into street lights. And I have this covered up because it's really bright. Um, the other reason why I have it covered up is because it's a sodium street light. And as you can see, it's very orange. And that's very characteristic of street lights. Most street lights are operating sodium street lights. And they're very monochromatic lights, and there's very few wavelengths of light. In fact, some of them only have one wavelength of light. And that does not occur in nature. And uh, the effects of long term exposure to sodium street lights are not very well documented by the medical profession. So uh, I urge people to stay away from street lights because the light is very unnatural and it probably has long term health implications to have exposure to street lights. So we're going to move on and we're going to test the street light with a trifield meter, which I have down here, and an AM radio for radio emissions. I'm going to start with the trifield. I've just switched it on to the 0 to 100 range. As you can see, we've got a field around this light. And that field gets very high near the light and tails off at distance. And it appears to be about 3 feet, this field, around this street light. So let's move over to electric field setting and see what we find. So we've got quite a large electrical field up at the top and it's probably coming from the electrical system that is used to switch it on at night time. And we also have a field on the cable and that's quite normal to have a small field around the cable and that tails off within about a foot of the cable. So uh, that's our tri-field testing done. Let's test it for wideband radio emissions with an AM radio. And this particular AM radio is tuned into AM530 where there's static and we don't have a radio station. And uh, you can be tuned in anywhere on the AM band. And we're going to scan the equipment and see what we find. So there is a small radio field around the light bulb and around the top of the light. And that field is somewhat on the cable as well. So there you have it. We do have some fields around these street lights, and uh, they also produce harmonics into the electrical system. And I have a separate YouTube showing that effect. I hope you enjoyed this presentation, and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.